what's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Uh, I just really enjoy playing the game and out here. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of worse things I can do in my life. Anything you believe in? Any principles or any sayings or something that you take to heart? Or? Uh, off the top of my head. Now, first round draft picks, they have all the expectations. But once they get in the organization, sometimes they're getting passed up by guys in the 50th round. Why does that happen? Oh, because once you put the uniform on, it's about performance and doing things. It's not about who's drafted where or what. It's about getting the job done. Now, in spring training, they bring more guys in. They, no, not every quite. team brings people in to compete for your spot. So when you're sitting there, there may be six, seven guys standing with you at the same position. How do you approach that? Just go out there and take care of your own business, and it'll work out the way it's going to work out. Um, you start worrying about what everybody else is doing. You start taking away from what you're trying to do, too. Has there been a time yet you wanted to quit baseball? What's up? Has there been a time yet you wanted to quit baseball? Now, do you read the, uh, what people write about you, Sports Illustrated, Baseball America, where they rank you and all these things? I don't pay much attention to that anymore. Anybody call you up? Dad call you up? Or mom call you up? Say, hey, you're Not too much. I mean, my parents listen to all the games on the radio, but that's about it. How about what would you tell a kid in high school about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? Um, you know, you kind of always hear about the grind and uh, the mental aspect of it. It's, uh, it's a lot. Something you don't really fully understand until you start doing it. I don't really know if there's a way to prepare for it, but uh, something to be aware of before you do it.